Hi, I'm Gracie Plummins and I'm from the Mount Juliet FFA chapter and I was just elected as the 2023-2024 Tennessee FFA State Secretary. Congratulations, Gracie. Uh, just like your other officer teammates, it had to be an exciting convention for you uh, as you were awaiting, uh, you know, all the names to be called. Yours was called. What, did, what was it like for you? It had to be the most surreal moment. For me, I had been working for this since I was just a freshman in the FFA. So for me, it just was all my dreams were coming true in that moment. And I just, all my hard work and my dedication had paid off. So it just was the most joyous moment. And going through the process of the, you know, you've been up here for several days, right? As you officer candidates do, you go through quite a process, right? Tell me about that. That's kind of grueling a little bit. Yeah, it was very stressful and I'm already kind of an anxious person. So I, we were been, I was up here on Friday and we started our process and on Saturday and Sunday and then we had convention jobs. So after Saturday and Sunday, it was really a waiting game, which for me was kind of the hardest part, just like knowing that we left it all in those rooms and we couldn't come back and do anything else so it just was the waiting game which was the hardest. All right so tell me about the Mount Juliet FFA chapter what's so special about it? Mount Juliet FFA is special for many different reasons. One of the reasons I think it's so special is because of how diverse it is. We have so many students who didn't have an agriculture background and I'm one of them. Growing up in the suburbs 20 minutes from Nashville we see a lot of that but getting in this blue jacket and getting in those agriculture education courses at Mount Julia is just so special because you see students find a love within agriculture and a place within it at Mount Julia even though they weren't raised with it. And you served as president this past year or right now right? Yes sir. So and you're getting ready to graduate and got future plans? Mm -hmm. Yes I graduate and I'm going to go to UT Martin in the fall and major in agricultural education with a minor in political science. And with hopes of what do you hope to become in your career? I really want to be an agricultural educator and FFA advisor. Very good. So you want to give back to what's been given to you, right? Absolutely. My FFA advisors, I have to say, gave me everything and are the reason why I'm here today and have just instilled in me so much. And I just want to be able to be that light for future generations of agriculture students and just be there for them. Well, and it's your chance. You've got a year of service to do all that yourself, right? With your team, your seven other members of the team. What are you looking forward to? I'm absolutely looking forward to chapter visits. I'm so excited to just engage with members, be able to grow their leadership skills and help them find a place in this blue jacket the way that state officers found, helped me find mine. And I just can't wait to be able to interact with students. Gracie, congratulations to you. We look forward to your year of service and wish you all the best. Thank you so much.